Good morning. It's a Sunday once again. Happy Sunday. Uh, happy Family Day and happy, happy 36th anniversary to the LA Church uh, of the Nazarene Filipino Congregation. And uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful Sunday. I'd like to welcome everyone and thanks for tuning in, for watching our video. So for this morning, uh, we will have another encouraging Sunday. Um, somehow we're trying to uh, come up with, uh, an, encur uh, with an encouraging series. Um, you know, it's a, I believe it's, it is the responsibility of us pastors to somehow contribute uh, uh, during this time of um, uh, ha uh, hardships, during this time of medyo uh, nahihirapan uh, yung mga tao in terms of uh, nakakaroon ng mga anxiety, nakakaroon ng mga uh, agam-agam, pag-aalala, worrying. So, um, pinaka-best na gamot, no? pinaka-magandang solusyon na pwedeng takbuhan ng tao ay ang salita ng Diyos. So, isa po sa aming uh, responsibilidad na sana po uh, makapagbigay kami ng uh, konting paghulas sa ating mga dibdib, lalong-lalo na sa mga panahon ngayon. For this morning, we'll talk about good, better, best. So, meron palang good, better, best na ko. Nasa Biblia yan. At saka, kung alam yung good, better, best ay pusoy lang, eh, tingnan natin kung anong sinasabing good, better, best dito. Our goal for this morning is to uh, give encouragement to a lot of people no? uh, na paalala na ang Diyos ay nandyan at uh, hindi kayo iniiwan at uh, patuloy po siya nagmamahal sa atin at is in full control of everything. Let's start with uh, the good. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, be good. Ayan. Overcome with goodness. So, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12.21 Ano naman yung pag-uusapan natin? Sa better. Yan. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, Uy, be better. Okay? Don't give it up. Ika nga. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 17. 22. Yung pangatlong topic natin for this morning, tell the person next to you again, be the best. No? Be the best. In everything, be the best. Don't let the storm in. Sabi dito sa Mark 4.39, Then he arose and rebuked the wind, si Jesus to, and said to, to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, uh, and the wind ceased, and there was a great Come. Ayan. Let's start. Let's start uh, uh, discussing. Ano ba tong good, better, best? Let's start with number one. Learning number one. We need to overcome evil with good. Sabi sa Romans 12, 21, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So, be good. Alam niyo, sa totoo lang, sabi ng salita ng Panginoon, salita ng Diyos, no? sabi ng scriptures, ay kailangan, uh, kung baga mangibabaw, huwag nating hayaan mangibabaw ang, uh, ang evil no? sa kabutihan. In other words, when somebody is rude or inconsiderate, no? kapag uh, meron mga tao na hindi, hindi, hindi maganda ang turing sa atin, binubuli tayo, Basto sa atin, dinidisrespect tayo, napaka-inconsiderate sa atin. Ay nako, huwag kayo magsisink down sa level nila. Don't be rude and inconsiderate back to them. Madami mga tao ngayon na nabubuli. Madami mga tao ngayon na hindi pantay-pantay ang paningin. Pasi lamang sa kulay ng balat. Madaming tao ngayon na, na kumbaga, uh, porke nang galing sa Asia, yung... Yung, yung pandemic, eh, mababa na ang tingin doon sa mga ibang asyano. At uh, akala nila lahat ay Chinese. So, madaming tao ngayon na uh, parang because of yung situation ngayon sa paligid natin, mataas yung anxiety, mataas yung, uh, kumbaga, nagkakaroon ng mga 
uh, unknown mental illnesses na hindi nila napapansin siguro, nakakaroon sila ng mga uh, kumbaga, mga depression and everything, no? kung ano yung pwede nating itawag, na pwede lamang i-classify ng, ng clinical psychology, pero valid na nararamdaman to ng mga tao at nagmamanifest how they treat people. O sa dya lamang na talagang may mga boss, may mga matatanda sa iyo, maring mas bata sa iyo na pero nas mataas lang na posisyon. O kaya mga tao kapitbahay or kahit sino na sadyang laging disrespectful ang pagtrato sa iyo. If you're going to rise higher kasi yun yung panawagan sa inang Dios. If you're going to overcome, yun kasi yung gustong mangyari sa inang Dios. You must do the opposite. Kung bastos siya, hindi ka dapat bastos. Overcome evil with good. You must show trust. You must show kindness. You must show grace and mercy. Diba? Sinisigawan ka, magpakita ka daw ng trust. Magpakita ka daw ng kindness. Magpakita ka daw ng grace. Magpakita ka ng mercy. Eh wala itong pinagkaipa pag sinampal ka. Ay, ibigay mo pa yung kaliwang pisngi mo. Kapag binato ka daw ng tinapay, Ah, binato ka ng bato. Batuhin mo ng tinapay. Huwag yung nasa loob ng garapon. Ha? Ay, iba, epekto nun. <laughs> At igit sa lahat, okay, pag nakaka-experience ka no, ng mga hindi magagandang bagay sa buhay, mag-prepare ka daw ng fruit salad. Eh, bay, paano ba yan, pastor? Fruit salad. Simpleng-simple. Fruit of the Spirit. Eto, ibato mo. Ano na ba yung mga bunga ng spirito? Gentleness. Ha? Rude siya, inconsiderate, bastos, disrespectful sa'yo, binubuli ka, masama sa'yo. Palika mo ng gentleness. Bigyan mo ng faithfulness. Pakita mo yung self-control. Meekness. Peace, kapayapaan, joy. Huwag mo kayaan na irab yung joy. Irarab nila yung joy mo. Yung kukunin nila, nanakawin nila. Pakita mo ng love, pag-ibig mula sa Diyos. Kindness, patience, goodness, temperance, at faith. Mm. Yan, yung fruit salad. Eh, akalaan mo, masama na ang turing sa'yo. Eh. Pinakita mo pa na maganda. Di ba? Alam nyo, it isn't always easy. Hindi laging... Madali. In fact, it is almost never easy. It takes a lot of humility to treat someone with respect who is disrespecting you, right? But do you know what happens when you walk in humility? Boom! Kitang-kita ang fruit of the Spirit. Ito pa magandang preaching moment. Kasi sa totoo lang, sabihin mo sa Facebook na Christian ka, pagkalanda ka mo, palitan mo araw-araw yung mga verses na nilalagay mo doon. Magsuot ka ng WWJD na bracelet at mga t-shirt na I love Jesus. Pagsigaw mong Christiano ka, pero hindi naman nakikita sa buhay natin. Hindi nakikita yung mga spirito, yung fruit salad, hindi nakikita. At imbes, laglaga ng laglaga ng prutas. Ay siya. Kahit kailan, yung iimbitay mo sa simbahan, hindi po pupunta. Pero alam mo, kahit di ka nga magsalita, sa totoo lang, ang pinaka-best na preaching ay yung ating pamumuhay kung paano natin ipakita si Kristo. Kitang-kita nila, sila mismo magtatanong saan ka nagsisimba. Anong ginagawa ng Diyos mo sa'yo? Bakit dati kang... Hmm, pero ngayon, eh napakabait mo. Right? And your God gives His, God gives you His grace. He empowers you to walk in His goodness. Siya lang ang pwedeng magbigay sa iyo ng kapangyarihan para lumakad sa kanyang kabutihan, sa kanyang katwiran. Scripture plainly says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Mm-hmm. Alam niyo, galit ang Diyos sa mga taong mayabang sa mga taong proud, sa mata- mataong ma-pride chicken. Pero alam nyo, He shows favor sa mga mapagkumbaba. Kaya magpakumbaba tayo sa Panginoon, humingi tayo ng tawad. 
Tanggapin natin siya bilang Panginoon Tagapagligtas. We need to walk humbly with God and overcome evil with good. We need to show mercy and so and so mercy, no? Parang show mercy, tanggalin mo yung H and then so mercy. Magpakita ng pangunawa, magpakita ng pag-iintindi, magpakita ng uh, uh, na basta Tagalog yung mercy, nalimutan ko. Yung uh, pangunawa, pag-iintindi, mamaya maaalala ko yan. You need to show mercy. You need to sow mercy. Ma'am, kailangan mo magtanim din. Nang pagpapatawad. Kailangan mo nang magta- magtanim din ng pagbibigay. And then you'll receive His grace. you receive His power. you receive His strength. Not to be everything He's called you to be. That's how we overcome evil with good. So yung ating first learning for this morning. We need to overcome with good whatever evil that comes our way. So sabi mo ni Saktan mo, be good. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12.21 Pinag-usapan po natin, good, better, best. At uh, ngayon, tungo tayo. Ano naman ang pwede natin matutunan sa better? All right. Parang itong dagang to. Dapat never give up. Ayan. Tapikin mo naman yung katabi mo. Sabi mo, never give up. Don't give it up. Be better. Don't be bitter. Okay? Magkaiba po yung bitter sa better. You need to be a better person, not a bitter person. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 17.22. Gusto ko lamang na um, sundan yung pinag-usapan natin last Sunday. No? Uh, gusto ko pang bigyan ng emphasis. Yung, yung joy na dapat meron ka sa puso mo. Alam mo, sa, sa buhay natin, throughout life, there will always be something that will try to take our joy. Nagaya rin na nabanggit natin last week, traffic. Diba? If, if, it, if it's not a grumpy bank teller, it's a family member aggravating you or a neighbor, no computer virus, no your flight got delayed or your spouse is taking too long, sabi niya sandali lang pero dalawang oras nang naliligo at nagme-makeup, pwede ka may irritate, right? At sa buhay ngayon, sa panahon natin, ang daming pwedeng maka-irritate sa atin. Andiyan yung pandemic. Andiyan yung mga protest, andiyan yung mga nanununog, andiyan yung mga nag-aaway-away, yung isang kulay versus isang kulay, andiyan yung andiyan yung racism, andiyan yung, yung yung dito sa West Coast, sa Oregon, sa Washington, sa California ay para kami ditong tinusta eh. Talagang sunog lahat ng area. Madaming namatay. No, sa East naman, yung bagyo. Ganun din sa Pilipinas. Madami rin problema. Hirap. Pero, you need to decide that you don't go the next 20 years allowing the same people and same circumstances to frustrate you. Anong sikreto? You need to change your approach. Yan. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, Change the perspective. Change your approach. What's upsetting you now, sa totoo lang, doesn't have to upset you anymore. You can choose to keep your cool and stay calm and steady. Tandaan mo, a relaxed attitude is going to lengthen your life. Uh-uh. Hindi ka high blood din. Hindi ka magkakaringkels. Hindi ka magkaka-heart attack. Okay? Hindi ka magkaka-diabetes, kakapuyat. You need to transform your approach to change and just enjoy the ride. Sometimes bumpy, pero just enjoy the ride. Alala ko nun, when we were young, pumunta kami dun sa Mount Maarat ba yun? Na, uh, papunta, sabay bundok dun sa San Mateo Rizal. Nag, nag, ano kami, nag-hiking kami. Yung uh, aming uh, kinabibilangan na uh, youth organization, yung Marian Youth Movement. Pagdating, uh, pagdating namin dun sa Ibabaw, uh, sumakay kami ng jeep, papanik. Okay? Eh yung, yung daan eh, rough road. Pero sumakay pa kami sa ibabaw ng jeep kasi punong-puno kami. 
And we just enjoy the ride. Ang saya-saya namin. Sigaw kami na sigaw para kami malayang ibon. At sigaw na sigaw. At although bumpy, rough, we're just enjoying the ride. Pagbaba namin sa iba, paana ng bundok, nag-hike kami papanik. We just enjoy the hike. We need to, we need to transform our approach to change. We need, we need to transform our perspective in life. Alam mo, the next time you're tempted to be upset, tanongin mo yung sarili mo. Is this really worth me giving up my joy? The same, ask, uh, the same question we asked last Sunday. No? Worth ba na ibigay ko sa yung joy ko sa sitwasyon na to, sa tao na to, na kumukuha pilit na aking joy? If you make this decision to not give away your joy, to live each day happy, alam nyo, God promises you'll be strong. Yep. You'll have a better relationships and you'll accomplish more in life. Tandaan nga natin, a joyful heart is a good medicine. Diba? A happy heart is a good medicine. Kaya you need to hold on to your joy and move forward into the abundant life God has in store for you. Ulitin natin, sabi sa Proverbs 17.22, a cheerful heart is good medicine. Ayan. Don't give up. No, Be better. A joyful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Pinag-usapan nuli natin, ano yung matututunan natin sa, sa linggo na to? Sabi natin, matututunan to be good, be better, at to be best. Okay, last but not the least. As we end, no, we need to be best. Don't let the storm in. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, be the best. No? Tingnan natin yung story na nangyari. Nung si Jesus, pinahinto niya yung storm. Sabi niya, sabi dito, Mark 4.39, Then he arose, no, tumayo siya, and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Kasi yung mga experience yun. In the midst of a storm. No? Tapos may calmness. Ah, naisip niyo ba? Ang tanong. No? Matanong ko lang kayo. Have you ever thought, naisip niyo ba about the fact yung boat can be surrounded by water sailing through a vast ocean with water for miles in every direction? But, 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 it's not any problem, walang problema, unless the boat starts taking on the water. Kasi kahit kano kalaki, yung barko, no, yung ship, yung boat, ay wala, no, much pa rin niya, gatuldok pa rin niya sa laki, sa vast ocean. No? Sabi nga, three-fourths ng buong earth ay tubig. So, gatuldok lang yun. Pero wala siyang problema. Kahit, kahit katuldok lang siya doon sa vast ocean. Pero wala siyang problema. Nakapaglayag siya na maayos. But, no? But, if the boat starts allowing the ocean to come inside the boat, before long, hindi magtatagal, ay lulubog. It will sink. ba diba? Sigurado. Okay? Dahil mas malaki yung puwersa ng tubig kesa sa boat. The same principle, mga kapatid. It is, uh, the same principle is true in life. Parehong-pareho. You can have trouble all around you. Three-fourth ng mundo. Fast ocean. Trouble yan. Di ba? Stress. Frustration, worry, depression, anxiety, vast ocean yan. Ay nako, pwede kang tanta din. Napakalait mo lang. Tuldok ka para kang boat, para kang barko, para kang ship. Sa napakalawak na body of water. At lahat ng problema pwede nakaturo sa'yo. Maaaring may health problem ka. Nalaman mo na meron kang cancer. Nalaman mo yung kapatid mo may cancer. 
may kidney problem, may diabetes, merong kailangan ng brain surgery, kailangan may high blood, merong, merong um, uh, gout, merong kung ano mang health problem. Maaring nag-break kayo mag-boyfriend, nag-break kayo mag-asawa, nag-divorce kayo, hiniwalayan ka, sumakbilang bahay. Maaring financial shortages. Walang-wala ka ngayon dahil pandemic. Maaring humina yung negosyo. Madaming nalugi. May problema ka sa school, nag adjust ka dahil online school ngayon. Nahirapan kang pakisamaan yung teacher mo, yung klase mo. Nahirapan kang pakisamaan yung, work, yung workmate mo doon sa workplace mo, yung boss mo, or yung gwardiya, kung sino pa man. Nagkakaroon kayo ng problema sa church. Diba? Ang malupit dyan, yung ETC, yung etc., etc., etc. Dahil nga, vast ocean yan eh. No, pwedeng nandiyaan lang yan. Steady ka lang. And then I will thread on you. Small boat lang ko, gatuldok lang ko, pero hindi mo ako magagalaw. Unless, unless, hayaan natin tong tubig na to pumasok sa loob ng ating barko. Alam nyo, di naman puro problema ang pwedeng pumalipot sa'yo. Ito, good news. Just like the boat, you don't have to allow what's on the outside to get on the inside. Bak mo siyang papayagan dahil sigurado lulubog ka. Di ba? You need to, sabi nga ng Panginoon, peace, be still, find joy in the midst of storm. Because I am the only Lord who can calm the storm. Sa totoo lang, when difficult times come, you don't have to be overwhelmed by the waves of worry or fear. Kung alaman mo may sakit ka, you don't have to be overwhelmed by the waves of worry or fear. Kung alaman mo na iniwan ka o pinag- pinagtaksilan ka or, or cheater siya or, or nagkaroon kayo ng problema o nagkaroon kayo ng problema relasyon mag-ama, mag-ina, magkapatid, magkapitbahay. Don't be overwhelmed by the waves of worry or fear. Kahit ano man problema yan, finances man yan, negosyo man yan, skwelahan man yan, trabaho man yan, church man yan, whatever. What should, what should you do? Ano dapat mong gawin? Relax. Stay calm. Follow the example of Jesus. When He was amid the storm, anong ginawa niya? He stood up and spoke to the storm. No? Sabi mo, in the name of Jesus, their situation, my situation will change. In the name of Jesus, whom I put my trust, my situation will change. There will be healing. There will be healing sa, sa sickness. There will be healing sa broken relationship. There will be restoration of wealth. There will be uh, 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 Orderliness sa workplace, sa school, everything will be restored. There will be peace in my heart. Yun ang pinaka-importante. Tayo mong tandaan, always remember, no matter what storms may come against you, the greater one lives on the inside of you. Ika nga, kung may intel inside, Jesus inside. Right? Allow Jesus to, to live inside of you. Accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior. Hindi ito, hindi ito, ano, alam nyo, ang Diyos, yes, free will exercise mo, pero hindi ito something na dapat pinalalagpas. Gusto mo na kang payapaan, accept Jesus. No? Turn to Him and walk in His power. Don't let the storm in and speak peace to every area of your life. Right? We need to live a life of good, a life of better, a life of best. Recap lang po. We need to overcome with good. Be good. Don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Be better. Don't give it up. A joyful heart is a good medicine, but crushed spirit dries up the bones. And be the best. Don't let the storm in. No, then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, 
peace, be still. And the wind ceased, there was a great calm. And you can experience that calmness too when you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the grace to overcome in this life. I choose your goodness, Lord. I choose your ways. Help me to show your love and walk in peace in every circumstances. Father, I, I will hold on to joy. I choose to live each day with peace and happiness. I choose to rely on your strength and your word which guides my every step. I love you and thank you for loving and directing me. Heavenly Father, thank you for filling me with your Holy Spirit and empowering me to stand against the storms of life. Today, I declare peace over every area of my life. And thank you for working things out for my good. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. But I believe that you died upon the cross for me. That you shed, Lord God, your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sin. And I believe that on the third day you rose from the dead and went to heaven to prepare a place for me. I accept you now. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free. Set me free from my sins. And because you are my Savior, I shall not die, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Leave a life of good, better, and best. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Last na lang po. Our church will be reopening soon. Our target date, most probably, no, kung mapansin namin na wala namang after effect on Labor Day, kung wala siyang, you know, breakout, we wish, if God is willing, we wish to reopen our church soon probably first Sunday of October, October 4. No? Simbang Pinoy po ito. Sa Wiley Chapel. No? Tuwing linggo, 9.45 a.m. No? Hanggang 11.15, one hour and a half lamang po. LA First Church of the Nazarene, the Filipino congregation. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsama sa amin ngayong linggo. Happy 36th year anniversary. Uh, LA First Church of the Nazarene the Filipino congregation. God bless you. We'll see you on Wednesday for the continuation of our Walk to the Bible series. God bless you. Bye.